there was an urgency about Larry's sense of movement. Because Larry had been telling us for so long that moving to Ireland, moving to Kilrush, he'd found where he wanted to move to, that we needed to get it together as his support workers, as his friends, and as the people that surrounded him to uh, come together and start planning with him. And we also invited two people to facilitate the path day, Duncan Yates and Andy Gilbert, who have done a lot of path and person-centred planning work and really, really helped us out to draw out how we can make this dream come true. This is a path. It's a, a model of uh, planning for individuals created by um, a number of people in the US of A, uh, John O'Brien, Connie Lyle O'Brien and Jack Pierpoint. Um, it's since been used in this country uh, to enable individuals and groups of people to create change in their lifestyles. No ifs, no buts, no what ifs. No excuses for oh, we haven't got enough money or we haven't got enough time or we haven't got the resources. We encourage people to think of a perfect, perfect future. A perfect dream future. And this is where we begin the path process. At the, this end of the, the document, at this end of the huge wall chart. Next, we ask people to move around in time, to take a step back and to begin to think what it could be like in a year's time, into the future. And so we ask people to time travel into the future. They said that in a year's time, Larry would have made many, many friends in his new place in Ireland. That as they look back, he's settled now in his home. He's got a job. He has now a healthy lifestyle. And in that intervening 12 months since we first met, the co-planners described a hugely positive change and a rootedness in Ireland that had taken place. The next thing in the path process is to ask people again to time travel and to bring them back, to root them back in the present, in the now. And we begin to ask people there, what does it feel like now? What's the emotional response? How does it feel for you to be in the present? For Larry, it was time for him to move. There was an urgency about Larry's sense of movement. We then ask people to consider that to move from the place they are here in the present to their positive, outcomes in a year's time, driven and guided by their vision, their positive dream for the future, we ask them, we ask them to consider that it's a long road and they might not be able to achieve it themselves. Other people may be useful and instrumental in their journey from the present to their positive future. Would not be plain sailing and there may be hitches on the way, there may be blockages, there may be difficulties. We invite people to list the kind of things that enable them to stay on track, to stay focused and able to navigate change into a positive future. Next, in the path process, we come to the action planning part of the tool, part of the process. And we now, again, ask people to time travel and to look at what needs to be in place in this area of the document, what needs to be in place before we can achieve the positive outcomes in a year's time. So we chart actions so they could, the co-planners that were gathered to support Larry in this change suggested that Larry would have an address, that Larry had an established network of people around him in Ireland, similar to the sort of network that supported him here in England. Larry told us, let the ball do its bouncing which was Larry telling us that there would be an inevitability of the process. And once we'd begun, that there would be a, an organic change, a natural process that would take, take place. Again, we ask people to backwards plan from the things that need to be in place directly before our positive outcomes can be achieved to what needs to be happening in six months' time from now. So it's a backwards planning tool. We're starting off with a future vision and then backwards plan to our first steps. What needs to be achieved tonight and tomorrow in order to achieve our one-year outcomes guided and driven by the vision. Mm -hmm.